and welcome back to Alice Goes Sailing. In this episode I'm going to be installing the wind vane at the top of my mast and I've got to make up a couple of brackets to do so and actually run the cable down my mast. So quite a lot of work to do, so I hope you enjoy. Right, so on this install for Merakai, uh, we've got the wind vane itself. Uh, got like a little mounting bracket that fits the bottom little pad and I've found this bit of stainless uh, bit of foam mount so I'm going to cut off one of the ends, bend it and I'll be able to mount the plastic base uh, this bit uh, too and then I'll be able to get the, the vein on and it should be strong enough. Now I will have an issue with the NEMA 2000 and getting the wire up to the mast because uh, it is um, stepped from the roof so I'm going to get it through the roof so so it goes from the NEMA 2000, which is in the, the bottom of the boat, and I have to find its way up to the top of the boat. And then I have to gland it, but I have to cut the wire, because when I step, step the mast down, and uh, for that I'll have to actually have to disconnect the wire, because otherwise I won't be able to move the mast far enough forward on the boat itself to be able to transport the boat on the trailer. So I have to cut that and do some field connectors and then I have to run that up the mast to the uh, actual wind vane. Alright, so on the actual vane itself, it's got like this pull tack. Drop this out so that would push the fit in, and push up into place. So the idea of this is to get this, bend it, and then this would bolt on right here with the. Um, that on, like so, and then we can fit that onto the mast itself once I've bent it all into place. I will have to widen this angle because my mast is a bit more round than that. Always use safety screens. Right, so I've done some whacking and I've come out with this. So about 90 degrees there and I've slightly widened that arch there. So imagine this is the mast itself. I go on there, whack that on top and then whack this little plate on top. Like so. And we get the wind vane and whack that on. Perfect. Right, so I've got my stainless bolts. I've finished off making the uh, stainless bracket for the mast. And then we've just got the actual vein to put back on. So I've finished the mount itself. 
see it's all bolted up, wire comes out the bottom. Pretty flush, 90 degrees. Yeah, pretty solid. So I bolt onto the mask. That's the next task. But overall, pretty happy with that. All right, welcome to the top of my mast. Here you can see the bolts are in for this cast piece. Now for the actual wind vane, we're gonna whack it on right at this side. So it's nice and square, plumb, and the bracket itself goes on. You can see that. Yeah, be nice and dandy. Once we've fitted the actual vein itself, we've got to get a hole somewhere around the bottom here, probably around the back possibly, and then run a wire all the way down the length of the mast and then do a connection right at the base so we can get it into the boat where all the BNG goodies are. Yeah. All right, we've got the actual mount all done. Uh, it's all bolted on there, wire comes out the bottom. Cut a little groove in the side here for the wire to run down when this is all connected up straight down into the mast. Hopefully run the wire down the mast, yeah. Um, but apart from that, all is good. I've got um, an anchor light, which where this little tab is here. I'm actually gonna remove that and get a plate that comes off with an anchor light for the top. So I'll have to run the wire with that other wire. Um, two in one then, easy enough. the rest of the wire I've got to run down the mast and I'll also probably get roll this wire positive negative run that for the young fight and we're set to go I've just taped up the entire length of all the wire ready to go down the mast alright so I've run the wire down the mast itself. I've notched it out a little bit. So it comes out right where this cast base is. Just like that. And I just have to shield it and cover it. Final fit up, have the wire coming out the mast and all plugged up, just waiting for the anchor light to come in. Right, that's it for this episode. The install went really well. Just need to get the anchor light and then the field connectors so I can finish off the job and uh, also get the deck land and run the wires into the boat so I can actually hook it up to the chart potter. But apart from that, that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.